Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to the channel. So I'm in Cedar Square here in Blackpool at the moment and it is graduation ceremony day for Blackpool and Fylde College. Now this should have been done two years ago but Covid hit and the first part of the graduation was done and the second part never made it so that's happening today. So I'm up here to meet up with my son and his partner who I've literally just picked up from college, dropped off at their house so that they can get changed and I bombed it up here after getting changed myself and the ceremony will be held at Blackpool Winter Gardens. Yeah, it's uh, Wednesday, the 11th of May. We're about half past 12. Actually, no, it's 21. I've just looked up at the clock on St John's Church. Like I say, it's graduation day for the Blackpool and Fylde College as it was postponed because of COVID. So that's why we're down here. So I thought before my son arrives, I will have a little wander around and look at things. And there's the beautiful Blackpool Tower, obviously. And there's the Winter Gardens. And here are the lovely water fountains. I love these fountains. And great fun for the kids in some of these. So this is St John's Square at the moment. Hello, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. how cool is that? You've got the Vintro Lounge just over there. So that is a party going on upstairs maybe. Hmm. Yeah, so that's the Vintro Lounge there. So it's a very nice place to eat. I've not been in there yet. The West Coast Rock Cafe. I've been in there a few times. And a few birthday events upstairs, things like that. That is Burley Street over the road there. And the structures you can see is an installation called Brilliance. Now it does all light up and plays music as well, so that's really cool. I like it. It's a shame there's a lot of empty properties on there, but it's still very good. Robert's Butchers over there. He was in the uh, Abingdon Street Market until it closed down. He's got himself a little shop over here. So yeah, Abingdon Street Market is still in the process of being done up. So it's all been refurbished in there. And it's going to be quite a up and coming place to go apparently. It's uh, going to have eating areas and all sorts of exciting things. Actually here is some pictures of what they're expecting part of it to look like. There look. Is that the picture of what the eatery is going to look like? So it's all been done up anyway. And this is the old post office. And those telephone boxes actually are grade two listed. So whatever happens to this building, eventually, um, they have to stay. Rumour has it that it was going to be a hotel, but nothing seems to have happened so far. I don't know. Um, so you've got a cafe. Emily Jane's there, the bread basket there. So that road there, you can see coming up, is Clifton Street, which goes straight down to North Pier. And the town hall is just down there. You can probably just see the clock tower 
of the town hall down there. So yeah, that's Clifton Street down there. So this is Abingdon Street here in Blackpool and you've got some charity shops as well. It's uh, quite busy for a Wednesday afternoon actually. Stationary place here. They have some quite fancy handbags. Cool. So it's a lovely day. It really is nice. Oh, this is a brilliant shop. The barbecue place, chicken shop, it's all sorts of yummies in here. You walk past this and get hungry. Parking wardens there, having a field day for people who can't park sensibly. This little road is actually called Deansgate, nothing to do with Manchester, I promise. because obviously there's a Dean's Gate in Manchester. So this goes up on the back of Abingdon Street to Edward Street. We'll just do a little circle round and call it a day for this one. So up here on Dean's Gate you have a cafe and another cafe. Derbyshire's of Dean's Gate. They do furniture and all sorts of bits and bobs. Place there called Refresh. And Asia's finest food shop there, they're really good. Got some good stuff in there. This is a travel shop, you've got Deansgate Kitchen, a couple of news agents, and that leads you up there towards Iceland. Now, so that's Edward Street, we've just gone past. And on the corner up here is the Washington pub. Let me get out the road so I don't get run over. And this is where Blacks used to be. Remember the big haberdashery store? God, I love that place. I'm gutted that place closed. So it's been turned into flats with downstairs shops and things like that. But I'm still gutted. If you look down there, you've got the Iceland, the council offices are at the top there, and Sainsbury's is just up there also. I'm just going to go back down to Edward Street so we can have a look along there. And I'll be back with you in a minute. Okay, so I'll come back onto Edward Street. Let's have a look. There again is the back of the old post office building, which was the sorting office. You now have to drive to Flipping Poulton if you miss a parcel and you don't want it re-delivered. You've got to go and get it. So these are some of the shops that have been made from where Black's was. So like I said, this is Edward Street. A 
pretty. I believe that's like a local restaurant. But I can't remember the name of it to save my life right now. But yeah. So yeah, this is uh, the back of the post office building, which was where the old sorting office was. And there's lots of young trees being planted down here. Look at these. How cool are them? All for, always for a bit of greenery. Some a seating bench there. I like that one on Church Street that I showed you. So yeah, this is the back of Abingdon Street Market. Again, photos of well, artist impressions of how it's going to look when it's done. So I imagine it's going to look quite modern and nice. I'm going to be interested to know how many market stalls are actually going to be in here. But it does look cool. So yeah, this is Cedar Square and that's the, was the Cedar Tavern. It's going to be the Charleston Rooms, Bar and Dining coming soon. It's all been sandblasted. Beautiful building this. Absolutely stunning. Look at that. How gorgeous does that look as well against the blue sky? Yeah, so that was the uh, Cedar Tavern. This row here, the shops, is called Homer Terrace. It used to be a row of cottages. Dates back to about 1865. How cool is that? Right, so I've just got a text message anyway to say that my son is just getting a taxi up here now um, so I'm going to call it a do here because we've got to register and collect gowns and stuff like that ready for the ceremony let's let you have a quick look on here before I go There's that sculpture, the wave. I do like that. I really do. Right, folks, I'm going to call it a do for this one. So thank you for joining me again on this little circle. And I will go and uh, meet my son ready for graduation. And uh, until next time, stay well, stay safe. Have a fantastic day. I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.